I'll feature constellation Virgo's brightest star, Spica, and flaring satellites for the month of June. Last month, I talked about using the Big Dipper to locate the red giant star Arcturus. From Arcturus, move your gaze down towards the horizon to the ecliptic, that apparent path of the sun, moon, and planets. There, you'll find the bright white Alpha Virginis, or Spica as it's more commonly known, along Virgo's horizon-facing edge. Some of the other stars outlining Virgo, a mythological maiden, include Vendemiatrix, Zaviha, Alba, Perima, and Hesi. Originally misclassified as one blue giant star for its intense luminosity, Spica is actually two B-class stars, located some 260 light-years from Earth. Spica is also a variable star. In other words, its apparent magnitude or brightness periodically fluctuates. With some variable stars, these fluctuations are visibly apparent. With Spica, they are not. What makes Spica's variability so interesting is that the causes for this light fluctuation are both external and internal. Not only is Spica a rotating ellipsoidal variable, a close binary system whose components are distorting each other, one of these stars is also a Beta Cephea. Its surface is contracting and expanding or pulsating. Both are fascinating scenarios that you can learn more about on my blog. Some of the easiest yet most spectacular observations for amateur astronomers are Iridium flares and the International Space Station. Satellites, the space station, space telescopes like the Hubble fly over our homes every night and you can see many of them. The brightest are Iridium communication satellites which often appear to flare when sunlight is reflected by their flat mirror-like surfaces. The ISS does this too when sunlight glints off its vast solar panels. These so-called flares are especially prominent just before sunrise and after sunset, and they are absolutely stunning. Flares can be predicted with a fair amount of accuracy, so you can watch for them simply by checking a flare predictions website, like Heavens Above. Heavens Above also notes local flyover times for the space station, Hubble, and other orbiting crafts. You can check my blog at astrocast.tv for more details about today's topics, and be sure to join me in July to see what's up in our night sky. Tavi Greiner, astrocast.tv.